it's Mousy, and welcome back to another episode of Dogs and Dragons. Woo! This is super magical. Look, we saved Walnut from the chairs. The chairs. The chairs. We'll have to keep the chairs up and away for right now, because for some reason, he just kept getting stuck on them. I have no clue why. But we've got so much going on today. We've got more of the Botanica stuff. We have some other things to tell you, show you. Magical things, magical things. I'll let it be a surprise, but we also have figured out what was wrong with the fairy lights mod and we got that working So we have that to work on today. Ooh, magic magic. It's gonna be magical But I want to say thank you again to you guys in the comments who are helping me come up with all kinds of ideas mods to add uh, One of you guys has, has suggested putting in a backpack mod. I'm definitely looking into it Like I said, I have all of these uh, on a list and I want to make sure I back up my world before I add each and every one of them so that uh, we don't accidentally lose the dogs and dragons world. But anyways, onwards with today's adventure, which I'm going to have to sleep really quickly before we start. Ha ha! Ha the magic. Okay, so let's make sure there's no googlies up here. No, no, we need to finish out the paper walls. I've been so consumed with learning about Botanica, um, just learning simple things. Some of you guys have been helpful uh, with uh, telling me some things about Botanica as well, like uh, how I need to make that wand thing in order to link things up. Don't worry, I've already looked into it. I was testing it out because I didn't want to spend an entire episode just trying to get one thing to work. All right, so let me show you guys what we got going on. So I've already tested some of this Botanica stuff out just so that we didn't spend an entire episode again reading the book and trying to figure things out because that's the last thing I really want to do. I want to have some fun and explore and do some crazy things. And uh, so yeah, this is what we got going on. I finally figured out what this is. So basically these get mana during the sunlight and these are basically the opposite, um, which get mana during the nighttime. And this thing called a mana spreader uh, pulls the mana from these flowers and puts it in here and I'm not too sure where to go from there So we'll probably have to oh there it goes. We'll probably have to read the book again the almighty book once again and uh, figure some things out, but um, Some of these flowers aren't really connected to that and I went ahead and don't get mad at me I deleted the wand that I did make because I wanted to show you guys how to make these things Because I since I made them off camera in order to uh, try and experiment and see what this thing is um, I decided to go ahead and I know it was like a waste of materials, but but I think it was still worth it because you know now I get to show you guys how this works um uh, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and gather this because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need some of this as well mm -hmm. So basically what we need to do is make a wand of the forest the wand of the forest Will help connect everything and we'll see the connections and all of that jazz. So there we go We've got some twigs now. We've got two twigs. I think if I remember correctly We actually need three twigs so many twigs, guys, so many twigs. Okay, and then, there we go. We have the wand of the forest. There we go, simple as that. So it's just some petals, this twig, super easy. Um, but yeah, so not too much of a waste of materials, but now we can kind of see the connection and we can now read all of this. So basically this mana spreader, we can kind of see that, unknown status. Now we can see how much mana is going on in there. Now we can see how much mana is going on there. This is now connected to that. Oh, it's, they're already connected. You can kind of see it already. It's kind of cool. I think it's cool anyway. I, mean, I like the little beepy sound it makes, but there's also like a bind mode where we can like how we bind it because you like you have to shift and then click and then there's that. It's kind of confusing. Uh, you should probably, if you if you have this mod, you should probably like get the Lexica Botanica and you know, read it because that it's super helpful. But yeah, I'm not sure what to do from here, to be honest. I'm not entirely, I'm not too sure, but Anyways, we'll move on from that in just a second. Let me go ahead and put all of these in here. I have some seeds for when we make stuff, um, but there is some other things that we have to do. We'll come back to this, don't worry. 
I'll even put the uh, Lexica Botanica here, as well as the Wand of the Forest. And some of this, some of that. We'll probably need to um, get more. We need. We still need a sapling for in here, but uh, yeah. So onwards. Um, all right. So I'll, as I also stated, our um, brrr, the fairy lights mod is now working. We finally figured out what was going on with that. It was the wrong version, guys. Can you believe it? Something so silly. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some light gray lanterns and we're gonna see what this looks like i think we do string iron iron and then there we go let's see oh so there's like different configurations that we can do this as <gasps> Whoa! The twinkle thing doesn't seem to be working all that- Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at that! Wow! That looks perfect! Wow. We'll just leave that there. That's- that's awesome. Okay. We can decorate the whole place with this. What kind of colors would work well for this kind of- okay? Oh, there's an actually a f there's actually a flower one. If we have any of the flowers for that, we have blue ones. But we can also make even though the mod is working, we still don't have like um any mod support with it. There we go. Light gray flower light. Let's see if we can make a Oh, we don't have another red flower, so that's not going to work. That's okay. We can just make it a simple one. Alright. Actually, it might look good with a combination of the two. I don't know. Maybe. <gasps> look at that! That's really pretty! I think my shaders is what's making these look really odd. But I still really like that. Oh, that's so pretty! Okay. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not here. Not now. Not this. This can't be happening. Okay. How are we going to handle this? He's right next to Casper and my dogs. Oh, man. Okay. Walnut's not going to be able to help. Golems don't really attack these guys. How are we going to do this? I have an idea. We have arrows. We can do this. <gasps> he despawned. Did I just see that? Did he just despawn? I just went and got a bow. Let's be careful. Casper, you okay? You okay, buddy? You guys okay? This scary creeper come in here and try and give you guys hugs. Aw, you poor things. You guys have enough food? Yeah, you guys have enough food. Oh, I'm so sorry the creeper came in. Poor things. Hey, guys. You good, Casper? Good. Okay, so now that the creeper's gone, that's all good. The fairy lights are working. We have a few of them. Oh, no. Some of our flowers wilted away. Oh, boogers. Okay, we'll worry about that in a second. But what I wanted to show you guys is, ta-da! We're done. Oh, my gosh, we have a butterfly in here already. Hey, welcome. We haven't gotten a tree in here or the golem, um, but... Basically, after I finished this, I saw a skeleton spawn in here. So, I think it is imperative that we finish making our little golem here. And, you so shall be named. Since you are the protector of the butterflies, one of you guys in the comments of the last two videos came up with the name Monarch. Monarch, welcome. You are the butterfly watcher over... <laughs> <laughs> the butterfly protector. You, you protect these grounds. We still have to make a, a few like magical trees in here because what I decided instead of like growing the trees in here What if we just like build the trees like make them what we want them to be? So if we find any like magical trees we can uh, you know Make them and it'll be really pretty and I'm kind of excited for that. So 
with that, I was gonna see if maybe we could put the fairy lights throughout here. I feel like that would be really pretty. Let's see. Where should we have the fairy lights go to? Hmm. I have an idea. I don't know if it will work. But it will be super interesting if it does. Let me just kind of build myself up here. Um. No, that doesn't work like that. Okay. Hmm. Well, that, there went that idea. Okay. Let's see. Because I kind of want to, like, do some cool, like... Can we attach it to glass? Oh, no, we can't. <sighs> Boogers. That's okay. It's okay. We can work around with that when the time comes. But... Oh, I can't believe we have butterflies in here already. Right, well, I think the one downfall to making this place made of glass is that we can't quite see the butterflies all that well. The, the type of glass that we made kind of makes it hard to see them. So I'm hoping once we get some trees in here and more foliage, we'll be able to see them better. All right, we've caught it. A red admiral. All right, nice. Let's go ahead and release them. There you go. There you are. Now, if we do happen to kill any butterflies by accident or something along those lines, I do want to make a butterfly guide. That way we can learn about the butterflies. Um, there we are. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that there. Alright, so that is all good. It's all hooked up. Still not sure what to do with the mana. We'll figure it out in a second. But, whew. All right, so I think it's becoming apparent that we are going to need some kind of house building type thing for a portal to the nether. And to do that, we're probably gonna need to get obsidian and we're gonna need all kinds of things. So that's gonna be important. Yes, it works. Walnut. Oh, not well, though. Okay. Since this is, like, a hangy one, um, what we'll do is we'll make a straight one. To make a straight one, instead of using string, you just use a stick. So, when we get to that, we'll do that. So, we'll probably end up having to replace all of these. Oh, that's a lot of... Walnut! Okay, come on, buddy. Alright, one big leap. You ready, Walnut? One, two, three, go! Go! Nice! Good job, Walnut. I'm proud of you. I'll go ahead and sleep. I think it would look better if it was curved, but, you know, I kind of dig that. I kind of like it. Do I? Do I? Walnut! You silly golem! Come on, buddy. One big leap. Are you ready? Come on. Let's do this. There we go. Down you go. Walnut, you are so silly. <gasps> it does work like that. Look at that. It, like, curves and everything. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so now we gotta do this side. Whoa, 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 whoa. Monarch, monarch, monarch. Oh, thank you, Monarch. Whew, I'm so glad we have you in here. Oh my goodness. Ugh, why is there stuff spawning in here? This shouldn't be happening. Whoa, this is cool. Horn of the Wild. Upgrade your mana pool to infuse this. How do we upgrade it? Wait a minute. This is insane. Okay, okay. Let's just... We got this. It's okay. Whew. Mana pools come in, which only star stores a little bout, and isn't able to infuse items, which can store as much as a hundred times more. Um, so that's the diluted one. Infusing a normal mana pool. Okay, so we need to actually make another mana pool. Wait, that didn't work. <gasps> wait, wait! Oh, we did it, we did it! Okay! So we just had to drop it in. Um, 
Now what? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we have it going to there. I don't know what to do with this now. Um, as we have all this mana. Wow! So, this is complicated. I did not expect it to ever be this complicated. So, what we need to do now... Generating flora. Here we go. End of flame. Due to their behavior, an open crate, which you can read about, blah, 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 might be a good step to getting it self-sustainable. So, I think what will make this whole process easiest because there was something i was reading in that book the horn of the wild so when we go out with uh, casper here in a moment because i promised that we would mind you i i promised um i want to we're just gonna have to wait till we have enough mana for that but for the time being let's see how we make this horn of the wild thing So simply blowing the horn of the well will cause any nearby vegetation to uproot, leaving behind drops if it has been bro as if it had been broken by a hand. How do we make pasture seeds? Ah, you're joking me. We have to infuse it. Nice. That's cool. Oh, we got loads. Oh my gosh. Here we go. They were here all along. They were just outside. Oh my goodness. You're joking me. See, this is why I think the Horn of the Wild is actually something we need. Oh my gosh, we found these clover patches. <gasps> yes, these will be so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. It's beautiful. There's so many. Wowzers, I've just seen how long I have been recording. Oh my gosh, like time flies when you are having fun, for real. So what I'm gonna have to do is split today's episode into two episodes. So today's episode will be like part one of this magical adventure and then next week will be the uh, other half of the episode. So if it cuts off at an odd point, and you're wondering like, oh, what was going on? You were in the middle of something. That's why, because uh, I can only shorten these videos down so much when I uh, make them. So I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, I'll just keep playing along so that we can properly have it work well. And of course, your comments will end up in the outro as always. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye.